What's up guys, it's your man I do a barber back with another video and in this one you're going to see me do three different edge ups, three different hair types, three different textures. I've gotten this request from people so I guess your wish is my command. So as you see the client that I have here, his edge up is you have to create it and if you don't know what an edge up looks like, you're going to have a hard time. So that's one of the keys is knowing what an edge up looks like. If you look here, this box is pretty much non-existent. So you got to kind of go back back a little bit further than you normally would. Typically on someone's box, in some cases you would stop at the end of the eyebrow, but in his case, it's a little bit different because that hair is non-existent. So um, I went in and I created that vertical bar and now I'm going to just do this little portion here. And this is actually how I tackle edge ups on the day to day, especially when the edge up is in this dire of straights and need this much repair i attack them just like this when i have to create an edge up so it's like i call this doing the framework so as you see there i got that 90 degree angle and i'm going to do the other side what i want you to see is where do you think i would put this edge up you can see where his box is dark comb the hair forward and i've got to go back a little bit further to create a dark line there so as you see i'm creating my vertical bar and i'm just tapping now when you create this line you don't want to slide the trimmer to the line and create it because one thing what will happen is when you're doing an edge up you want to comb the hair to the edge up line and come over top and come down on the hair and remove the hair and create a a straight line like that so as you see i'm coming over top I'm coming down and I'm pulling the trimmer away, lightly doing it. And as you see, I created that vertical bar there. So now it's time for me to frame it right here. And this is just an initial marker. So I'm basing this off the other side. So as I put this in, I will be able to look at him from the front and then be able to tell if I need to raise either side, left or right, and then just connect the dots. So it's like I create two dots on one side and all I gotta do now is just draw the perfect symmetrical line. And then not necessarily a straight line because most people's edge ups aren't just straight across like that. It is some sort of curvature there. But as you can see, like the hair at his widow's peak, it comes quite forward. So a lot of that hair, will be removed right there but as you see that part of this widow's peak it doesn't grow that far all the way down so now as you see here you can probably see the right side is a little bit further down and that's okay because now you just use your comb check the balance and as you see i'm just pointing out as you can see how it slopes down a little bit and that's easy to change. No problem whatsoever. Combing the hair forward and I'm basically just gonna connect the dots now. So I'm gonna start from the left to right. Some people start in the middle and work their way out. The only reason I don't do this is because I found that it doesn't work well for me. Now, when you're doing edge ups, do what works well for you this works well for me and if it does help you or if this actually makes doing edge ups for you easier then i'm glad that you found this video helpful and got some information from it but i've just noticed from every time that i tried to start from the middle and work my way out it just doesn't work out for me and i found that this way is the best way for me so as you see now i'm going to even the right portion so I, just, I told you it sloped down a little bit and now I'm just gonna just tap 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 and make that even so pretty simple on how to do an edge up a lot of people get very intimidated when it comes time to do an edge up like this but as you see pretty simple on how to do this edge up there you go and on to the next victim. So I ha like, as I said, I have three people that I'm doing edge ups on. So this one, 
straight hair client he's hispanic uh totally different hair texture hair type and the rest of it and so we're going to do his edge up so as i'm pointing out the right side there is a little bit higher and as I, now what i'm doing is i'm lifting up his hairline just to see where it naturally is to see how much room i have to work with see how much i can take off and i'm just pointing out to show you how his hair naturally does that on that right side it naturally curves and i'm going to use my slimline pro allies and i'm pretty much going to use a similar process so as you see here coming in and i'm creating the vertical bars here so boom i'm going to establish this on both sides slightly different method than what you saw in the last edge up but essentially the the process is the same so this time i'm establishing the bars first on both sides and i'm only going to attack what's necessary because in this scenario the edge up is primarily done already there's not much work that needs to be done so as you see this side here is the lower side which means i can take more off of this side to match the higher side so as you see here very minimal work on that side to straighten that out didn't take much so as you see in the front there that little overhang i'm going to take some of that out to help straighten out his edge up and i'm taking very minimal hair off guys like i'm really in this scenario i'm taking very minimal hair off and the last edge up i took a lot so as you see there pretty easy didn't have to do much there to create a good edge up pretty easy so i just went back i checked it and you want to check the mirror if you have one in this case i have a camera so i'm checking the camera which here's a little tip if you want to know if your haircuts are good pull your camera out your camera will tell you way more truth than the mirror ever would and boom and this guy's edge up just to let you guys know it really is not even his is one where if he hadn't get his hair cut in a long time it'll be a different story so now this edge up this edge up is another over hair uh curly hair climb but he has like mixed hair so his hair isn't like really really overly curly but as you see it's a lot wider of an edge up so what i'm doing is i'm combing the hair into place combing it where it needs to be and now it's time to create the vertical bars so i'm just coming in here and i'm lightly establishing what i'm doing now if you see and you notice his edge up is pretty wide which typically like i said you don't want to go too far wide because it doesn't look that natural but if someone's hairline is that way you can only deal with what you're presented with so this is what i'm presented with and i'm just going to execute so everyone's edge up is different and that's what i want to show you here within this video everyone's edge ups are different no one has the same type of edge ups if you do an edge up one way it will be different on another client the next day or even the next client that sits in your chair everyone's edge up is different so you have to know what a good edge up looks like first before you can try and create one on someone typically if the client's head is the right size yes you want to start at the end of the eyebrows and then create the edge up that way but sometimes that doesn't look well on all clients so you actually have to know what a good edge up would look like on their head if a client has a big head big forehead you don't want to push their edge up way far out wide especially if you have to create it you want to keep it natural right along that point so as you see here I created both vertical bars and now I'm doing the same thing I did as in the last two edge ups. I'm creating that framework right there. So I create those two corners, boom and boom. So as you see there, I'm just, I was tapping some of the hairs that hung over. And as you see that left side is done and now I'm doing the right side. So I'm creating the framework on the right side now, very simple. 
and this is why i like doing edge ups this way it's almost like dummy proof and you're not really gonna mess up because once you create that framework all you got to do is just connect the two lines it's really not that hard to connect the two lines in the end so as you see here i just i didn't connect the two lines but i went over a little bit but i just want to make sure i had a straight line so as you see that line dips in the middle and all i'm going to do is just take off a little bit of that hair just to straighten it out and this edge up will be finished so i'm combing the hair forward and one thing with edge ups before this video is finished i want you guys to know is that you need to prep the hairline before you it's time for you to edge up somebody because what happens is if you don't prep someone's hairline you're gonna have to do a lot of extra work and that's what you don't want when you're doing an edge up you want your trimmers to hit glide through the hair make their impressions felt boom and be gone you don't want to have to fight with hair that's hanging over or edge up thick hair where if you edge it up and then the wind blows one way and there's hair hanging over so you want to prep the hairline before it's time for you to edge up that's why you see guys taper down the hairline a little bit for a few reasons one so that it lasts a little bit longer and two it actually gives a good edge up right away once the barber actually does it so as you see here now i'm over it's pretty much done there not much work you can see there creating that created the edge up on him nice and clean and simple real easy way to do edge ups guys hopefully you guys found this helpful if you did leave a comment in the comments below i'm curious if you found it helpful just let me know it's been your man i do a signing out i'll holla